Water is the most abundant resource in the world and the most important resource for all living organisms. To focus more on water, there are two topics in this video we'll focus on, the structure of the water molecule and the properties of water. The first topic, the structure of the water, should be understood as how the water molecule is shaped. The water molecule is a V-shaped molecule in which, one, which the two hydrogen molecules are on one end and the oxygen on the other end. Also, since oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen, the electrons of the covalent bond spend more time closer to oxygen than, the, than to hydrogen, simply meaning that they are polarly covalently bonded. This unequal distribution of electrons makes water a polar molecule, which means that two ends have opposite charges. The oxygen has a negative charge and the hydrogen has a, hydrogen has a positive charge. Because of these um, structural properties, water can also bond to other water molecules because of hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding is the bonding of polar molecules because of magnetivity. Due to these structures and chemical bondings, it creates special properties of water leading to our second topic. There are six main properties of water that make water so important. The first one is that water exhibits strong cohesion tension. Cohesion is the binding together of the like molecules, often by hydrogen bonds. This phenomenon is very important in the transport of water of, transport of, water of plants. Plants need water and it needs to go against the gravitational pull. The cohesion of water molecules allow water molecules to connect to each other and pull up each other through evaporation. This allows water to go up and constantly go up if there is low humidity or a lot of sunlight. The second property is that water has high adhesion properties. Adhesion means the binding together of two different molecules and this helps cell walls to counter the downward pull of gravity. The third property is water has a high specific heat, allowing marine biomes to resist temperature fluctuations. The fourth property is that water has a high heat of vaporization. The heat of vaporization means the quantity of heat a liquid must absorb for one gram of it to be converted from a liquid to gaseous state. The high heat of vaporization of water allows to control the stability of temperature in marine environments and also help prevent overheating of secreting by secreting sweat and being cooled off by it in the human body. The fifth property is that ice is dense in water. This property allows marine biomes to survive even in the harsh temperatures because only the top area is frozen, not the whole body of water. The last property is that water is a universal solvent. This is probably the most important plant property because it allows many organisms to survive. In the human body, plasma is 90% water and the rest are solvent, solutes, nutrients, molecules, etc. Because water can dissolve so many types of molecules, it allows a great solvent for transport systems in living organisms. Because of these six properties and instruction, it is obvious the water that water is a liquid life.